Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about in this module is the relative age of streams. Okay, and um, very similar to how we think about the age of the Earth, um, it doesn't make as much sense to think in absolute terms as it does in relative terms. So which one is older than the other rather than exactly how many years has this been in existence? The way we can determine the relative age of streams, as I mentioned, is by its physical characteristics. So there are several um, words that you guys need to know before we get moving so that you can have the proper um, vocabulary. The first is a meander. And a meander is a curve in a stream. So if we see a stream has this shape, then this S shape is one meander. Um, the other is floodplain. Floodplain is the distance between the um, channel edge and, a, and the steep slope. So, for example, if we look at a river and we see that the river goes something like that. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. And then we see on the sides of the river See the channel goes something like that. And then we see on the sides of the river that we have topographic lines that start like that. This distance between the channel edge and the steep scarp is called the floodplain. A floodplain exists in many different sizes, and it's all dependent on how old the stream is. Floodplains on both sides of the river channel. And let's see, what else do we need to talk about? We'll get to Oxbow Lakes in a little while. So we're going to use um, these different this different terminology to um, get an idea of what characteristics we would expect to find in old and young stream systems. So uh, move on to the next video to take a look.